Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to help you to get a VPN established uh, for some of the first tasks that we're going to do with our uh, new stealth machine. Let's dive in. So in previous videos, uh, I explained to you how to install Debian on an internal solid state drive using full disk encryption. And then we also have a small flash drive uh, in one of our USB ports that we're using as our boot drive. And then <clears throat> after we got this system installed, one of the first things we did was a few little cryptographic commands, which basically created a key file. And then uh, we added that key file to our key ring. And then we removed our passphrase option. And then we moved all of the, this key file and everything over to our uh, boot disk. So the only way to boot up our system now and to gain access to this encrypted hard drive is with this key file. It's a, a 4096 a character key file. So there's no way a human could ever remember it. And it's very resistant to password cracking. And the only way you can use this is if you have it in your hand. So if you walk away from your computer, you just take it with you so your system uh, cannot be accessed by anyone. Uh, and then this key drive can easily be lost or destroyed in case your system becomes compromised. So uh, the next step is setting up a VPN. It's a little tricky in, in, tricky in Debian. Uh, for the VPN that I'm using, but uh, I'm going to walk you through it. So let's launch a web browser here. Okay, we're go I'm recommending Anonymous VPN. Uh, one of the features that I like about it, it's a good landing page to get started with this whole uh, privacy and anonymity situation because we are able to purchase it with a gift card. So uh, you can purchase a gift card with cash somewhere and then uh, set up an account anonymously and uh, your name isn't on this account. So it uh, gives you that extra level of obfuscation. So, and it's fairly easy to use too on the Windows side, not so much on the uh, Debian side. So I'm gonna walk you through that. So we're going to go to Downloads and Support, and we're going to type in Debian here. Okay. And we go to Installing VPN and PIA on Linux. And uh, for Debian, they have a specialized Debian instruction set here that uh, it was submitted by one of their users, and it's pretty good. So the first thing that they're recommending here is uh, launch our terminal window. First thing we'll do is do an update. So that's a sudo apt update. Whoops, yeah. I don't use the apt get anymore. Uh, it's not necessary. Okay, after everything is up to date, I'm going to cut and paste this command here where we install this open v open VPN software. I'm gonna pull this guy out a little. And it's still rolled over onto the next line. It's okay. Alright, so we're installing uh yeah. I don't like get. I think it would have worked just fine anyway. But a little cleaner to use app. So we're going to install the network manager OpenVM, OpenVPN, pardon me, the network manager, you can see here, network manager for GNOME, and the network manager OpenVPN for GNOME. This will give us an interface in GNOME that allows us to configure an OpenVPN profile. So we go through all that get that installed okay and now that we've got that going he wants us to create a directory 
<clears throat> in our home file. Uh, I'll just follow his advice. You can, you can call this anything you want. want. To this directory. As you can see, I am my typing leaves. Something to be desired. Okay, now we're going to download a bunch of their profiles here. Okay, and once they're in there, we're going to un unzip them. Okay, so I skipped a little uh, setup up here. They wanted us to edit the uh, network manager config file. We'll go ahead and take care of that because I did remember that there's uh, a reboot required at a certain point here. Okay, so we're looking uh, for manage false and we want it to be true. And then in nano, you just hit Control X. And we want to save our changes, so we hit Yes. And then we hit Enter. OK. So now that we've done that, we're going to do a reboot. And then I'll come back and finish up this setup. We'll make this a part two video. So thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll join me for the next video where we continue on with the setup. Uh, hope you like all my videos about encryption and please join me again. Thanks.